free her! Free! Free her! Free! Free her! Free her! That's what we do all day, every day. My name is Tanisha. I am a program director of The Wire, Women of All the Reentry Efforts. I'm also a member of the National Council for Formerly Incarcerated Women and Girls. Woo! I want to thank each and every one of you guys for coming down here. I know it's hot out here, but it's much more hotter behind those bars, and that's what we deal with every single day. Um, I want to give a little introduction about myself. I am, a, I am what you call success. I have um, been in and out of juvenile and, um, and adult justice system. I've dealt with PTSD, drug addiction, sexual, physical, and mental abuse. I've been abandoned, I've been kidnapped, I've been sold out for money. So when they ask me about change, I say I am changed and I'm going to continue to keep changing yeah. each and every day. I'm going to continue to keep using my voice for women that can't speak up for themselves. So I want, like I said, I want to thank each and every one of you guys for coming out here today. Our mission is to stop mass incarceration, legislation, change the legislation's laws, family reunification, um, leadership training, mentoring, coaching women that's coming home from being incarcerated. But I want to um, say thank you once again, and I'm going to introduce Ms. Laura, one of the ladies from the council. Free her, free them all. So um, I am a member, we're all members of the Council for Incarcerated and Formerly Incarcerated Women and Children. And we're speaking up here. We had a contingent that was twice this size, but half of it got a flat tire somewhere in New Jersey and is stuck out there. So we are speaking now for Topeka K. Sams, who was supposed to be delivering this speech. So now I'm going to introduce the heroic Monica Cooper from Baltimore. Woo! going to read Topeka's speech and then we'll say one more thing. Hey, now that we are on an angle, let me drop this seed on you. They don't want to see this. The white, the black, the red, the brown, they don't want to see this. They don't want to see the spirit. They don't want to see the spirit of John Brown living on in his people. They don't want to see these abolitionists out here that says regardless of your race, your creed, your religious ideology, your sexual preference, you deserve to be free. So I commend everybody that's here because it's a system. This systemic thing has been around for a long time. But guess what? We might not look like many, but we are powerful. Mm -hmm. We are powerful, and guess what? We are that mighty fist that's going to tear this system down once and for all. In the name of Che Guevara, Matt Turner, and all the revolutionaries that came, that understood what Bob Marley said. Could this be love and be love? Don't let them fool you, baby, because that's what's going to free us. Today we stand together to add our voice to demand to end and without exception the clause in the 13th amendment that legalizes slavery in America for those convicted of a felony. Slavery in the United States is alive and well and the way it plays out for women in prison. The United States incarcerates 30% of the world's incarcerated women Today, there are more than 1.2 million women currently under correctional control in the United States. This includes incarceration, probation, parole, pretrial, immigration, which we call crimigration, immigration detention. More than 200,000 women are con confined in state and federal prisons or local jails. Between 1980 and today, the number of women in prison increased by 730%. 730%. And from 1986 and 1999, the number of women incarcerated in the state prison for drug-related offenses increased by 888%. 60% of women in prison are mothers of children under 18. How dare they tear our families apart? How dare they tear our families apart? And the now Justice Department Attorney General Jeff Sessions wants to say,
the drug war was a success. Girl, it was a success that. at destroying our communities, yeah. our families, and ourselves. White supremacy and racism mm -hmm. in the form of criminal justice policy have destroyed thousands of us. Three quarters of incarcerated women are the primary caretakers prior to their incarceration. In 2010, African American women were incarcerated at nearly three times the rate of white women, and the Hispanic women were incarcerated at 1.6 times the rate of white women. One in nine African American children. Wait a minute, guys. <laughs> One in nine African American children, 11.4%. One in 28 Hispanic children, 3.5%. And one in 57 white children, 1.8%. The National Council is mobilizing incarcerated and formerly incarcerated women and girls to ensure the change starts with the voices and experiences of women who are most affected by the criminal and just justice and legal system. The National Council is unapologetically focused on women and girls because the drivers for criminalization of women and girls differ from those of men and boys. When a woman or girl enters into the criminal legal system, she faces harms, consequences, and challenges that significantly differ from men and boys. We believe it is vital to fight for women and girls. We believe that by starting that we are working to end incarceration of women and girls, we have begun to change the national dialogue by broadening and deepening that conviction, convention about what and should be possible. We want to end the incarceration of women and girls and decarcerate millions of our brothers. The council is the first ever national organization created and led by formerly incarcerated women the National Council is principally a woman of color-led organization. We seek to provide national advocacy platforms that support the local and statewide work being done by formerly incarcerated women throughout the country, while simultaneously building the capacity to mobilize these same women in support of NC and other states and national campaigns. I have a, a little bit more that I have on here, but I'm, I'm going to just, because uh, I have one minute, if I just had maybe 90 seconds instead of 60. But what I do want to say is that it is so important that we remember the women. The women, if it wasn't for a woman, we would not be here. Yep. If it was not for a woman, we would not be here. Yep. We have had great women to lead marches and organize. Fannie Lou Hamer, Shirley Chisholm. We have had wonderful women to lead, and that's what we want to do. We want to make sure that we keep the voice of women alive because 744% increase, that's insane. What they do is they will take the bodies, and once they ran out of bodies, they'll come after yours. Once all the black bodies are gone, they get the poor whites. Once the poor white bodies are gone, they come with the brown and the Asian. None of us are safe from this system, from this machine. Yep. We're going to be like the Matrix. We're going to get inside the machine, yep. and we're going to tear it down. Yep. Yep. Free her. Free her. Free her. Free her.